on to number eight here. It says write the standard equation for the graph circle. In order to write the equation of a circle, we will need to know the center and the radius. That's what we need to know. So what are the coordinates of the center and what is the radius? So we can see that the center is right here in the center of the circle. We can see that that's the coordinates of the center, right? So the coordinates of that will be 1, 1. We can already see that on the graph. So center is 1, 1. The radius is simply the length from the center to the outside edge anywhere. It could be there to there. It could be here to here, there to there, or there to there. We'll just count from the center to the bottom. So 1, 2, 3 units in length. The radius is 3. Now we can write our equation. The equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, the radius squared. So our h value is 1. Our k value is 1. Our radius is 3. So we're going to plug those values into the equation. And we will have our equation. So x minus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals, this is 3 squared, right? So we know that 3 squared is 9. And that is the equation of that circle. If you go to number 9, now we're just essentially doing the opposite. This time, number 9, they're giving us the equation. We need to take the information from the equation and graph. How do we graph a circle? We will need to know the center and the radius. The center is our h and our k values, right? So the center, our h value is 3, our k value is 4. 3, 4 is the center of the circle. Let's go find where 3, 4 is on the graph. It's going to be right there. We're going to make a point. We know that the radius is not 9. It is not 9. It is the square root of 9. So remember, it's the square root of that value, which is 3. So the radius is 3. So let's just count some points. If I count three units in all directions, 1, 2, 3, I can make a point there. 1, 2, 3, there, there, there. That is the length of the radius, and you can see the general shape of the circle from there. We just want to sketch it the best that we can. So I'm just going to kind of go like that. That's pretty good. Not too bad. And that's how you graph a circle from an equation. Number 10, it says write the equation of a circle with the center and a point that's on the circle. Okay? So there, again, to write the equation of a circle, you need to know the center. We know that. It's negative 3, 2. They, they told us. We also need to know the radius. They did not tell us the radius. However, we can figure out. So remember, we have, say this is our circle, right? They gave us the center, and then they gave us some point that's on the circle, right? So that's the center. This is some point that's on the circle, right? So let's just say that's negative 3, 2, and this one's negative 7, 2, right? So what we need to do is figure out the length of that radius, because that is the radius, right? It connects the center to the edge of the circle. So we just need to find the length between that. So we can do that by using the distance formula, right? The distance between two points on a graph. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to find the distance between these two points, and that's the length of the radius. We will use the distance formula. So the distance formula is... We're going to take the x values, we're going to subtract them and square them. We're going to do the same thing with the y values. Subtract them and square them. We'll add those together and then take the square root. The two x values are negative 3 and negative 7. Remember, order doesn't matter. So negative 3 minus negative 7 squared. And then we have the y values, 2 and 2. So 2 minus 2 squared. And then we still, we're going to take the square root at the end. Let's clean this up. Negative 3 minus negative 7 is adding 7. So that's 4, right? 
and then 2 minus 2 is 0. So we have 4 squared, which is 16. And then we have 0 squared, which is just 0. So 16 plus 0 is still 16, right? So the distance is the square root of 16, which is exactly 4. That is the radius length of our circle. Okay, So we're just finding the distance between the center of the circle and to the point on the edge of the circle, right? If that were the circle, how do you do that? The distance formula. Let's go to our last question. So all these questions on the back are just like the questions that I covered on that entire front side. So let's go, except for number 22, which can be a little bit more difficult, but not too bad. It's pretty similar to the last one that we just did. It says, write the equation of a circle which has a diameter endpoints of 2, 4, and negative 4, 2. Okay, so let me just draw a graph over here and just kind of show you with a picture, right? So we have 2, 4, which is like probably up here somewhere. Negative 4, negative 2 is like down here somewhere on a graph, right? So this is the diameter. Those are the diameter endpoints of the circle. So our circle is probably going to look something like that. It's not a very good example. Let me see if I can draw that a little bit better. So maybe something like that. And then the middle, remember the diameter goes through the center of the circle, right? So in order to write the equation of a circle, we must know the center and we must know the radius. Okay, so they didn't tell us either. All they gave us was diameter endpoints. So let's focus on the center. Isn't the center going to be in the middle, right, of these two diameter endpoints? So if we found the midpoint of these two points, we would find the center. You have the midpoint formula. It's quite simple. We're going to add the x values together and divide by 2. And then we're going to add the y values together and divide by 2. So the two x values are 2 and negative 4. The y values are 4 and negative 2. We'll divide those both by 2. So I'm going to get uh, negative 2 divided by 2 for the first one for the x value, and then positive 2 divided by 2 for the second one. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. 2 divided by 2 is positive 1. That is the midpoint. That tells us that that is the center of the circle That could because that's the midpoint between the two points. Now, all we have to do now is find the radius length. So we can do two things. You can find the length of the diameter, so the whole diameter, and just divide it by 2. So we can find the, the, the distance between these two points and divide it by 2, because remember, the radius is half of a diameter. Or, since now, look, we know the center of the circle right here, we can just find the length from the center, remember? Find the length from the center to the edge, to an endpoint, and that'll just tell us the radius length. Okay? I think I'm going to do it that way, since we know the center now. So I'm going to use 2, 4, and negative 1, 1. 2, 4 is a point that's on the circle. Negative 1, 1 is the center of the circle. This is a point. That's the center. If I find the distance between these two points, I have the radius length. Right? So it looks like this. Center, point on the circle. If I find that length, that's the radius. So this time, let's use, um, well, we don't have a graph. So you could use a graph to find this. But since we don't have a graph, we should use the distance formula. So the distance formula is I'm just going to subtract the x's and square them. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the y's, subtract them and square them. I'm going to add them together and take the square root. Let's plug them in. Our x values are 2 and negative 1. So I'm going to say 2 subtract negative 1 squared plus our y values are 4 and 1. So 4 minus 1 squared. And then we'll take the square root of that when we're done. Let's keep going. So 2 minus negative 1, it's the same thing as plus 1. So that's 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. 
So it looks like we have 3 squared for both of them, which is 9. So that gives us 9 plus 9, which is 18. So the distance is the square root of 18. That is not a perfect square. So we're just going to, um, well, actually, we'll just keep it in radical form. So the distance between the center of the circle right, and a point on the circle is the square root of 18. So that is our radius. Our radius is the square root of 18. So let's go ahead and write our equation now because we have all the information we need. We know the center, we know the radius. So this is the radius, remember? And we already solved for the center. So again, equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Our h value is negative one. Our k value is positive one. And our radius is the square root of 18. Not 18, the square root of 18. Let's go ahead and plug this information in. x minus negative 1 is our h, plus y minus 1, that's our k, equals the square root of 18 is the radius squared. Let's clean this up a little bit. x minus negative 1 is x plus 1 squared y minus 1 squared is perfectly fine. And then the square root of 18 squared is just simply 18. Square roots and squares cancel each other out, right? If I have the square root of some number x and then I square it, I just have x, right? They are inverses of one another. So this is our final equation. That is the equation of the circle that has those original diameter endpoints in the original problem. Kind of a long one there, so if you need to use the back or some separate paper, that's fine. But that's how you would complete a question like that.